It is one part of a mix of our economy that makes up the economy, and right now it is under pressure. Today, U.S. Congressman Tim Walz brought a regional summit meeting on housing to Austin, and ABC6 News reporter Dan Conrad was there. We need to find more qualified workforce, and we need to find a place for them to live. It's seen as one of the biggest challenges to growing the southern Minnesota economy. We just don't have a lot of available housing for people. On Monday, city and county officials, yeah. business leaders, realtors, and others from Winona to Worthington gathered in Austin to discuss Minnesota's workforce housing situation. We have a very low vacancy rate in the community and just a lot of demand. And possible solutions. Public-private partnerships uh, from the federal, state, and local level. It's a challenge with multiple causes, from the economics of household income. We have in Minnesota over 600,000 households that are paying more than a third of their income for their housing. To the fact that developers are taking on fewer projects in the wake of the 2008 recession. In some places, the, the rent is not high enough to sustain building, and, and all of those issues need to be addressed. Smart policies that allow the market to work at its best and most efficient to be able to create those, uh, those units that are needed. At the federal government level could mean uh, tax credits. At the state level might mean tax credits or grants or financing uh, benefits. In the local community, just partnerships uh, with whether it's uh, employers, with the bankers, uh, with the city agencies. But what we know is if we don't have a place to call home, people will not move here. We uh, will not fill those openings and our businesses can't expand. Dan Conrad, ABC 6 News.